If you would like to support me in making these videos, please check out the link to my Patreon campaign down below. If you support me on Patreon, you will also automatically be entered to one of my monthly giveaways. In the last episode of the C7R build, I asked if you guys wanted to see a time lapse of me assembling the seat belts, and you guys did, so here we go. All the seat belt buckle material is from Scale Motorsport in their super detail set for the C7R, and I used some aftermarket belts from Scale Production. So, first of all, I just cut out all of the material from that photo etch sheet and then moved on to the belts themselves. I do want to add a quick disclaimer, this is not really a tutorial or a how-to on these seat belts. This is just the way I do it and a long boring video, pretty much just a time lapse as you guys requested. So I'm not really going to be explaining a heck of a lot, just a couple of small parts here and there and let me just leave you to it. After choosing a color for the belts, I measured them and cut them to length. With most of them now cut to length, I could move on to attaching all of the buckles. Now the seat belt material is a tiny bit too wide for the buckle material from the photo etch set, so I just cut the tops inwards a bit to make them a bit pointy so it could be fit a lot easier into the buckles and it actually fit width wise as well. I'm gluing them all together with some Super Gold Plus from Bob Smith Industries as it doesn't really haze and it works perfectly fine for these materials together. After gluing the belts and the buckles to my fingers, it sometimes leaves a bit of a fuzzy from the belt being shortened and also cut inwards, so I need to remove those fuzzies. You will see me do that here and there with either scissors or just a knife. I'm going to do all of this pretty much the same to all of these other parts, so that's pretty much all the explaining I'm going to do for now.
And there you have it. That's it for these seat belts. Now they are not 100% correct. I realize that the top ones are different left and right as I kind of just did it from pictures and didn't really know 100% how to do it. One went fine, the other one went a bit differently, but it was all glued together, so not much I could change about that afterwards. Pretty happy with the way that it came out and it detailed the interior nicely and gave it a bit of extra level for something you pretty much can't see after you've put the body on. But I know it's there and that counts. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.